hello I'm back to my channel and in this episode I'll be playing yet another Square Enix playthrough but it is a different RPG series from them and it is Dragon Quest and this is a Dragon Quest game that I've actually played on my DS and it is Dragon Quest 9 Sentinels of the Starry Skies so here we go do, 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 do. So I weren't actually going to um, play this yet. Because at first, I was going to do... Um, let's give him a Vegeta haircut. Um, I was going to... Do Shining Force CD, but I spent literally 45 minutes trying to sort it out. But nothing would work. Oh. Jesus. I haven't used this emulator in a while. Eye colour. Brown. A name, of course. You know exactly what it's going to be. No. Back. Oh, whatever. P. H. Have you guessed it yet? A. A oh. N T O M. That's right. Phantom. So here we go. I don't know how long I want to, I'm going to go for. Um, but anyway, yeah, you get a lot of things to do with the word benevolence. So if you don't know what benevolence is, it's like the purity or the spirit of a soul. Uh, but to be fair, I've never actually completed this game. I got to the final boss slash final bosses. But I think I was a bit underleveled. But that was back when I never used to play RPGs properly. But anyway, hello? Is anybody there? If you're there, say something. Show yourself. Thus do the voices of the mortals plead, ever hopeful of proof of our existence. For how long now have we watched over their realm? For how long have we Celestrians existed? So here we go, nice little village with what looks like unhealthy water, you know you don't want to be drinking green water. And know here are two Celestriads, you have come far Phantom. I must confess that having had my doubts when you became guardian of the village in my steed, but its inhabitants continued peace and safety is proof of your devotion. When Appus Major bade me a killer. Take Phantom as your apprentice. I never imagined I would see you bloom so. You are worthy of your title indeed. Phantom Guardian of Angel Falls. Hmm. <sighs> don't ever get old, my dear Erin. You don't ever want to get old. Oh, Grandpa, it's not much further now. I'm sure you'll make it. And of course... You always get slimes to start off a Dragon Quest game. All the time. This is also one of the better Dragon Quests. The best one is Dragon Quest VIII on uh, the PS2. That was the first ever Dragon Quest I saw as well. These wicked creatures must not be allowed to ambush innocent members of your flock, Phantom. Come, Guardian of Angel Falls. It is time to fulfil our duty as Celestrians. But if you know Square Enix, you know that, you know, they don't do light-hearted games. Nothing's going to end well. Anyway, here we go. Might as well take out the uh, slim. Oh, 
bush. 21. Because of course, Achilles is just an auto character. He does commands for himself. Anyway, down you go. Down you go. Do. When you level up, you get the do 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 sound that is in like every final, uh, every Dragon Quest game, you know. See, Grandpa, there's Angel Falls up ahead. So they can't actually see the Celestrials, if you didn't know. Uh, I honestly believe I've never set my tired old eyes on this place again. But here we are at last. Whom? Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Grandpa. The village guardian would have, will have been watching over us all the way. Nothing bad could ever happen to us. Benevolent Phantom, thank you for protecting us on our journey. No problem. So there's a bit of benevolence. Behold, Phantom, Benevolence. The crystallization of the mortals' gratitude towards we who watch over them. As Celestrians, our cardinal duty is the offering up of the sacred substance onto mighty Yggdrasil, the great world tree. Come, Phantom, let us return to the observatory, that you may make your offering. Hell yes. So yes, quite a few RPGs on the channel recently, but you know... I fancied having a week off of emulators, well, kind of because I didn't really know what to do. Because I'm running out of things to do now, but once I do this, I can try and get Sega CD. I need to try and get a good uh, Sega CD emulator to do Shining Force CD. Um, but you know, anyway, here is Yggdr Yggdrasil. The Celestria at home. Don't you know how long I want to do this? I mean, you'll know when you see the video. Probably until the event happens, you go back to Angel Falls. But, you know, I'll, I'll try and do all side quests, because I'll be talking to all the NPCs to see, you know, which ones have side quests and stuff. The first task a guardian must perform upon returning from the pr Protectorate is to report to Apis Major. As I'm changing as the North Star, you shall find him in the Great Hall. I have other matters to attend to, you must excuse me. So yeah, you can get the air punch. Whee! And yeah, you can talk to him. Mortals pass away at the slightest hint of sickness or injury, and are weak of spirit. I thank the Almighty I was born a Celestian. To be born mortal would be a truly sorrowful fate. Right, well... That's just not very nice. Everybody's born to die. And then apparently, if it is true, obviously, you ascend to the afterlife. Anyway. I need to get used to using this bloody emulator again. Jesus Christ. I don't remember where you find Apis Major, but you know. Kind of similar to a star, actually. A new bit, obviously, they are called Celestriad, so it makes sense. So, you've returned with benevolence collected in the lands below. You are a credit to us, Phantom. But such is to be expected from one chosen by a killer who declined for so long to take an apprentice. They don't seem to do any books of particular interest, of course not. Like, who likes reading, eh? I think I have, yep, I have to go up to here. God, this is sloppy. Yeah, I definitely have to get better at using this man. And here he is up here. Apis Major. Well, met Phantom, apprentice of a killer. Welcome back, Phantom. I trust your absence has not been so lengthy that you forget your old master, Apis Major. My congratulations on successfully completing your first task as a guardian, Phantom. You have performed your duties well thus far. Albeit under Achilles' watchful gaze, but the time has come for you to spread your own wings. What say you? Are you ready to undertake your duties alone? Ho oh, oh, ho, I see you are a confident apprentice, Phantom. Very good. The young have confidence where the have old have experience. And so we come to the next of your duties. 
I believe you have acquired a crystal of benevolence, have you not? The essence of mortal gratitude. You must offer it unto the great world tree, Yggdrasil, who shelters us with her nurturing boughs from atop the observa observatory. She will soon bear fruit at last. Go now and do as I have instructed. So yeah, quite, quite a few big words. Um, so if you don't know what some of them mean, I guess you could search them up if you want to. But yeah, I've explained benevolence in a nutshell. It actually is a term, not it weren't coined up by Square Enix. I mean, obviously, you probably know of Evanescence through the band um, as well, but no, there is there is that as well, anyway. Let's go to Yggdrasil. Now, Yggdrasil is very important towards the story, but you know. Apis Major has sent you to offer Benevolence unto Mighty Yggdrasil, then you may pass. I'm guessing Yggdrasil is probably something to do with a myth. Because Square Enix like their mythology, and I like my mythology, so you know. Do -do 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 -do. Might be best to move with this for now. Can't, like, for some reason this theme reminds me kind of Final Fantasy 3. In particular Final Fantasy 3. I don't know why, it just does. But you know, it is Square Enix. Offer the Benevolence up to Yggdrasil. Why did I have to make a goofy looking character? <laughs> oh dear. It's fine. There it goes. Glowing. And here he is again. Behold, Phantom, is Yggdrasil, unto whom we offer the benevolence we gather, not truly beautiful? Gathering and offering up benevolence is the most sacred duty with which we guardians are charged. I trust you will perform your duties well, Phantom Guardian of Angel Falls. I have been thinking, Phantom Guardian of Angel Falls, to address you as Guardian of Angel Falls is both convoluted and inconvenient. I was about to actually comment on that. You will henceforth allow me to use this form of address only when formality dictates, I take it. Good, it is as well you succumb to my recommendations so readily, my pupil. As you are aware, the law forbids a Celestrian to oppose a superior. Now I'll go to Apis Major and tell him of the successful completion of your task. Well, to be fair, it wasn't difficult, but you know. So obviously eventually you get spells and abilities to use. Obviously you've got your attributes. Oh, I accidentally pressed the wrong button there. And you get to check out stats and stuff. And then you get rings, armor, gloves or armwear, headgear, I think leg gear, I think you get in uh, in this. Because you get a few more armor options than you do in like, a Final Fantasy game. Obviously, I don't want to keep on comparing it to Final Fantasy, I mean it is the same company and all. But you know, it's a very different style of RPG, but it's still good. Do, do. Yep, I should continue using this again. Well done, Phantom. How did the mighty Yggdrasil appear to you? She was fierce for a go. Ho ho ho, it seems the time may soon be upon us. I am sure you are aware it is we Celestrians duty to tend mighty Yggdrasil with such time as she bears fruit. It is to this end that guardians watch over mortal kind and gather benevolence. And now, Phantom Guardian of Angel Falls, I believe you know what you must do next. You are to return to the Protectorate and continue to gather benevolence, this time without a killer to accompany you. Make ready and then speak with the female Celestian who stands guard over the great portal on the floor below. May all the bodies of the heavens watch over you, Phantom Guardian of Angel Falls. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. There we go. I forgot, even as you turn, you can still bump into them by pressing A when you... Well, actually, you don't. 
you don't actually run, it's just all one speed, clearly. And then, yeah, you've got that. The story so far. Phantom has delivered a crystal of benevolence gathered in Angel Falls to mighty Yggdrasil, setting the great world tree aglow. So, yeah, that's the whole world map. It's quite a big world map. It can be a pretty difficult game at times. Obviously, it's Square Enix, so that's understandable. Anyway. Ah, Phantom, you wish to descend to the Protectorate, I take it. So, Phantom, the time has finally come for you to descend the Protectorate alone. Good luck, Guardian Phantom. May the assistance you bestow upon the mortals of ancient falls give rise of, to galaxies of benevolence. Hell yeah. So something's going to happen soon, which will set me off on the journey away from Angel Falls, but I can't really say what. Anyway, it really is weird. What's weird? You mean that name thingy in the Guardian statue, Ivor? Of course I mean that name thingy, Hugo. You don't. I'm sure it said a k something before, but now it says Phantom. Really? Well, it said Phantom for as long as I can remember. How and how long is that exactly? Do you remember reading it before? Uh, aye, that's funny. I, I can't say that. I do. You see, everyone around here is weird. It's only just changed and everyone thinks it's been like that forever. <laughs> it must be the work of the village guardian then. Don't be such a wally. There's no such thing as guardians. They're just made up rubbish. It's only Erin who believes in all that nonsense. She's such a dumb uh, brunette. Well, that was uncalled for. Anyway, let's go. Erin's all, always going on about how everything is thanks to the Guardian. Stupid, if you ask me. If this Guardian really exists, then why doesn't she introduce him to me, eh? So I believe you want to head over to the church. Which, if you didn't know, in all Dragon Quest games... It is where you save it. And you always have this theme to it. So maybe you don't have to go to the church, but no. The adventure log lies open on the table. Ooh, you record your deed so far. Do, 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 do. So this doesn't change. Even in Dragon Quest XI. But anyway, there we go. Obviously I'll do in-game saves and emulator saves. Because it just helps. I need to find Erin then, don't I? Hmm... Ooh, what was that? I could have sworn somebody was just trying to talk to me. <laughs> do, 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 do. So there's no point talking to everybody quite yet. Because um, you won't get any side quests because they don't know I'm here, technically. So, you know. I don't often stay here, but I must say my service is always faultless. I'm sure it would be rearing success if it was a bit bigger and in a more popular destination. Trying to say Angel Falls isn't popular? You can't diss the first village in any game. Especially when sometimes the person comes from that first village. Obviously depending on what the game is. And the context behind the main character anyway. It doesn't really appear like there's much around anyway. That Ivor will be the death of me, still playing around like a young boy at his age. He'll never be able to follow in my footsteps and take over as mayor if he carries on like this. Does Dad not like Ivor very much or something? He's always trying arguing with him. Ivor's always really nice to me, so I like him a lot. And anyway, surely, you know, she would have heard that door open and been crapped out, like, but whatever, <laughs> we won't talk about that. Oh no. I never actually really thought about that until now, but anyway. Ah, here we go, so when you see these glint, it gives you something to pick up. Yep, horse manure, why not? I mean, I'm helping them out at least. And you know they're going to be like, oh, Guardian Phantom, thank you for that. Huh? Ach, no, I can't believe I fell asleep again. 
What the? How comes it's so clean? I don't need to start to tidy up when I dozed off. Ah, that must be it. The Guardian's been helping me while I've been asleep. Thank you, Phantom. I'll work harder from now on, I promise. I'll have me another horse in no time, you'll see. Lovely. So you can see the theme uh, for the start of the game. It's collecting that benevolence. Phantom requires crystal benevolence. Don't actually remember how many tasks you've got to actually do to get benevolence, to be honest. But you know. So you want to check out all the houses and stuff. Um, talk to all the NPCs just in case. Erin's been working really hard even though her grief at her father's death. She's only a young thing and yet she rules, runs the inn all by herself and she takes care of the old man too. She's an inspiration, that girl. I mean, I'll look everywhere else before I go to the inn. I mean, I was just in the inn, but you know. Is this the item shop? I think this is the symbol for the item shop, right? Do... That's weird, I could have sworn someone was there. Come to think of it, there are rumours about a ghost prowling the place at night. <laughs> Not that I believe in all that nonsense, of course. Phantom is a ghost, so you know. There is a ghost going around. In a coincidence. Never really thought about it before, but you know. But to be honest, I don't really think much, to be honest. Anyway, if I was just a little more spiritly, I'd be able to help her out a bit. I'm so frustrated with myself for being too weak to help her. If only my son was still alive. Well, it's got to be painful, you know. For a parent to live longer than their, um... Children, you know. That's clearly not what a parent ever wants. But anyway, let's not talk like that. Let's not leave it open, they might get spooked out. Anyway, so yep, I guess it's time to go to Erin at the inn. I don't remember if she has, like, dialogue that said or, or something. I'm not sure, but you know. Oh, she's moved. Phantom, is that you, Honoured Guardian? Gee, he's silly me, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I know, did I speak to you? My brother's working so hard at taking care of that horse lately. He said it's because he wants to buy another one. I just hope he's not overdoing it. Well, he clearly has been because he's dozing off. Anyway, let's go to Erin, shall we? What should I make for the guests tonight? Bean soup or potato stew? If only we had some meat, it's no good serving the same old stuff every time. Let's go up to here. I mean, maybe I'll go back to uh, good old annoying son of a bitch over here. Let's see. Erin's always going on about how I've finished thanks to Guardian. Stupid, if you ask me. If this Guardian really exists, then why doesn't she introduce him to me? Are they saying the same stuff? Erin this, Erin that. I've also transparent. He's clearly head over heels in love with a girl. Funny enough, though, she doesn't seem to have realised at all. It could be a hard road ahead of poor for poor Ivor. Yep, clearly. I know, can you leave? I don't think you can, right? Guardian can't just wander off and leave the place they're sworn to protect. So at this point, I was like, right, something's got to happen. And when I first did it, because I mean, it can't just be in this town. That's not how games work. But anyway. Hmm. Where else is there to go? Hang on. I did... There's one NPC I haven't spoken to yet, I don't think. Let's speak to this lovely woman at the church. It's terrible, I've lost my husband's ring. Oh, but it's all I have to remember him by. Oh, Phantom, please use your guardian powers to reunite my ring and I. So I need to find her husband's ring. Do 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 do
I didn't go up here, did I? I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but you know. There's an inscription that reads, Our Guardian Phantom. Doesn't look an awful lot like Phantom, though. Nope. But you know, they're not supposed to know what he looks like, are they? To be honest. To go treasure chest. Requires a moonwort bulb. So sometimes you find things in like barrels and stuff. And he clearly I don't have to come down here. Um for like anything. There have no been no monsters around here lately at all. It's all peaceful again. It's because Phantom has been delivering us from evil. We really are blessed. Yes you are. Yes you are. You should thank me. That lazy layabout son of the mayor sometimes goes off the village of his own. Dangerous if you ask me. I don't care how many weapons he has, he's still not exactly a formidable foe, is he? That's a dig, innit? That's a big dig. I'm not gonna bother barking, but you know. Doesn't he dig out the ring? Yeah. I remember that now. Of course I remember it as soon as it starts to happen I click on. Fund requires a keepsake ring. You know, he's just going to slip it in her pocket and she's going to be like, Oh, Phantom must have put it in, the, in my pocket. Oh, God bless you, Phantom. Well, you know, it's Apis Major, but you know. Please, God, if Phantom helped to read him up, give the keepsake ring to the old lady, yes. Phantom slipped the keepsake ring into the old lady's coat pocket. Hmm, that's funny, my coat suddenly feels a wee bit heavier. Lord almighty, it's it's my Bruce's ring. Well, I just don't understand it. I searched high and low for this old thing before, and I couldn't find it anywhere. It must be Phantom's doing. Aren't we lucky to have a guardian who watches over us so well? Thank you, thank you, Phantom. So I think this is just trying to obviously get you to realise you have to really speak to NPCs. Because, um, you know, if you didn't speak to her, you're not going to know about that. But, you know, I think it is only two because, uh, like, there's no other NPCs to speak to, I don't think. We will see. I think there might be one final thing with Ivor now. I don't know, anyway. Here we go. Here he is. You are taking your new role very seriously. I'm glad to see, Phantom. What is it? You feel that your old master does not trust you to work alone? It is my duty now to patrol the entire protectorate. Though you guard it well, I must sometimes revisit my old territory. And, and as I am here, Phantom, there is one last lesson I must teach you. As guardians, it is our duty to tend to our mortal flock. This means more than merely watching over the living. Sometimes we must help those who have passed away, but whose souls continue to roam the land. You hear it too, do you not? The voice of a wandering soul here in the village in need of your assistance. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, cheekily show you who it is. So these guys with helmets, you get these uh, quite thoroughly in um, Dragon Quest. Hmm. What's wrong with people around here nowadays? Why is everyone giving me the cold shoulder? Eh? Oh, someone who, who's prepared to give me the time of day at last. Listen here, can you tell me how come everyone's ignoring me? Hang on a minute, what's with that get-up, eh? You ain't that, oh my days, you, you are. You're a Celestian, ain't you? So I've, I'm already, I've breathed me last, is it? Go on, you can tell me. I can take it, that's what's happened, innit? Cheers for being straight with me, mister, a uh, Celestian. So basically, I've kicked the bucket, right? Well, it's a good thing you told me. When I thought everyone was just ignoring me, I was about ready to do myself in anyway. But now I know what's what. I could just get on with it and, well, you know, rest in peace and all that. Final piece of benevolence, I think, maybe? don't remember. But, you know. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Free. Cha-ching. Apis Major's got to be happy. Phantom requires a crystal benevolence. You have done well, Phantom. 
Thanks to your intervention, good sniper in Modern Warfare. Sorry, I just had to say that. A mortal soul has made its peace and is now at rest. The benevolence of a departed soul shines more brilliantly than any. You will be returning to the observatory with a post haste, no doubt. Then I shall bid you farewell for now. I have much due to hear in the protector. Hmm. I believe that's the train that gets these spirits across, I think. The Starflight Express, indeed, it has been unusually active of late. I have changed my mind. I shall accompany you to observatory after all, Phantom. I believe the thing will happen very soon. I have important matters to discuss with Apis Major, please excuse me. Do do so, Yep, here we go. Oh, I forgot about that. A seed of life. I think that's just to revive. Do do Hmm. You get to those bits from elsewhere, I believe, but anyway. It's actually been a while since I've properly played this game. You know, it makes a change to play it again, but you know. Go over to here. Do, 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 do. I know this is, you know, not a, probably a good thing to do. Smash up the, but you know, there we go. A medicinal herb, a chimera ring, or chimera. They, they put it like chimera instead of chimera. Some people pronounce it Chimera. But they, you know, that's just not that's not right whatsoever. It's Chimera. There is someone I know, I think they're called Missildine or something. He butchers the hell out of names. Like, for instance, he calls Bermesia in Final Fantasy IX Bermica. And he, he, just keep, he keeps on saying to people in the comment section, Oh, that's how I've been pronouncing it since I was young. So I don't want to change the way I pronounce it now. I'm bloody hell. It's just horrible. Like, I know I'm, I'm going to get some pronunciations wrong, but bloody hell. Not like half of every word spoken. Anyway, did they tell me where he's gone? A killer came here a short while ago and left with Apus Major. They were deep in conversation about the celestial carriage. Which obviously has raised a concern with um, good old Akilla. He's obviously worried that so many people are now dying in a short period of time. Do I go back? I think, yeah, I come back up here because I think the event that sets up the game happens up here. Because the game hasn't been set up yet. That's all I'll say. I mean, I can go in here as well. But, you know, it's not really much here, I don't believe. There we go. Well met, Phantom. Truly, you have chosen a fortress moment to join us. Behold, Yggdrasil. She is ready to burst into bloom with all the benevolence we have offered unto her. Oh, oh, yes, she is but a hair's breath now from bearing fruit. Fig Bloom hails the opening of the heavenly gates and set the Celestians to the path of salvation. And lo, it shall be in the celestial carriage that we, the chosen custodians, journey unto the realm of the Almighty. 
It is time for them off for the benevolence you have gathered unto mighty Yggdrasil. Do so, and she will surely bear fruit at long last. As of course, Phantom is the one to give give unto the final amounts. Here we go. I'll keep quiet. Behold the sacred figs bloom. And the celestial chariot appears. Praise be all is that it was foretold. So as I said, this is Square Enix. They don't they don't do nice happy uh, happy storylines, you know. So that's simple. What is the meaning of this? We were deceived. So Yggdrasil was not for the good, it was for the bad. I oh, know, oh dear. Phantom has fallen. And his wings, you see his wing, wings clip off. And if he loses his wings, that means he becomes a mortal being. So yes, this is the event that sets up the game now. So Phantom is losing his powers as a Celestriad because of this decision. I guess I can put it like that, yeah. I mean, this is a perfect time to end it once this bit's been done. But yeah, they're just, they're just like, oh my god, someone's falling from the sky. So now, I'm going to return to Angel Falls, but this time, as a human. <laughs> so like, oh my god, a shooting star. I mean, it is a bloody good game. It's probably the second best Dragon Quest behind 8. I mean, I've, the only thing is I've never really played some of the earlier Dragon Quests. Um, but I guess I could try and find out what console they're on. I think they'll probably be on the, the SNES or something, but you know, Dragon Quest 9. Sentinels of the Starry Skies. I've never played Dragon Quest X, though. No. I mean, 11's out, but you know. So here he is, as a human. Hey, it's that phantom character who turned up just after the earthquake the other day. Oi, wakey wakey, what are you doing there, staring off into space? I don't know what Erin thinks she's doing, bothering with the likes of him. He won't tell us where he's from, his clothes are all weird. I couldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. I bet it's his name that got Erin so keen. It is the same as our village guardians, after all. Huh, I doubt it's even his real name. I bet he's just some no-good wandering minstrel taking on a guardian's name to get a free lunch. Well, listen to this, oddball. I won't let you get away with any funny business on my patch. Yeah, watch your step. Ivor doesn't like Erin giving all of her attention to you. He's jealous. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Why would you say that? Uh oh. What's going on? Why are you two bothering Phantom for? Oh, uh, hi, Erin. Nothing's going on. Just teaching Phantom here a few village rules. Anyway, we were just leaving. Come on, Hugo. I don't know why Ivor's so full of himself these days. He never used to be like that. Anyway, you must be feeling better now if you're walking around, Phantom. Coming up here reminds me of when I first found you. I was so surprised. You must have got caught up in the earthquake and fallen from the top of the waterfall. You're so lucky. You're lucky you survived. Anyway, I'm heading home. There's nothing more to do at the inn for now. Enjoy the rest of your walk, but make sure you don't overdo it. Okay, I'll see you back at the house. 
So I'm going to go straight to the house, of course. Do, do, do. Yeah, smash these for. I must admit, I was surprised when my granddaughter took off. It took you in after you fell from the waterfall that day. It's incredible how quickly you managed to recover. You young folk don't realise how lucky you are. Well, he was a celestial, but you know. I don't actually remember if he ever tells anybody. I think if he told Erin, she'd understand. Wouldn't he? Oh, hello, Phantom. You're back much sooner than I expected. I'm preparing a meal at the moment, so can you wait a little bit? Now you're so much better. Why don't you take a stroll around the village and say hello to everyone? I guess I might as well. Dear oh dear, first there was the earthquake, the monsters running riot, the mountain pass is quickly blocked too. I know, it's just one thing after another, isn't it? I'll tell you what I think. You know Erin and that strange person she's befriended? The one who looks like a minstrel? Goes by the name of Phantom or something. Well, I think it's him that brought us all this misfortune to the village. Well, that's not, that's not good, is it? He, he literally did, literally just bring them fortune. How dare they? You're that minstrel Erin's taking in, aren't you? Ed, you have the same name as our village guardian. I'm sure it must be just a funny coincidence, but that name of yours is one I'm grateful to. That's for sure. Isn't it ironic how it's actually a dog as well? The clothes you wear are a bit weird, aren't they, Phantom? Are you really a minstrel? That's what everybody says you are. I'm a freelancer. That's how you can put it. Of course, but anyway. Ah, you're the one who's staying with Erin at the moment, aren't you, my child? Are you on the mend now? It really is a miracle that you survived that fall from the falls with just a few bumps and bruises. You must have a guardian watching over you, my child. It's the only explanation. <coughs> he was that guardian. <coughs> that earthquake that happened just before you fell from the top of the waterfall. That was quite something, wasn't it? It destroyed the village entrance and even broke the church bell. I thought my number was up then, I can tell you. So yes, as you can see, the explosion that nearly destroyed Yggdrasil and the observatory cause an earthquake down here as well. What are you doing, you know? It's not a good idea to leave the village at the moment. You remember the earthquake the other day, I presume? Well, ever since then, there's been more loads more monsters about. Now that, now's not the time for a stroll in great outdoors. Whatever you are thinking, Phantom. Mm, oh, sorry, I didn't mean you. I was talking to our guardian. Yep, you were, you was just talking to the guardian. Well done. So is there anybody in here to talk to, or...? I guess I'll do a save state here. No matter what, you might always offer his divine protection of you. All living creatures, blah blah blah, yep. So you could probably tell who who one of the characters that's going to be with Phantom is. Erin. Maybe Ivor as well. Maybe, 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 or maybe not. You'll have to see. Do, 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 do. So Erin's going to be like the white mage. I think she's the white mage, right? I oh, don't remember anyway. There's the church bell. I think Erin's quite worried about the lack of guests coming and stay to stay at the inn. She's been very kind to you, helping you in her hour of need. So you'll have to try and help her somehow too. There's no one in there. How many more NPCs to talk to? I don't remember, but you know. I worked and worked and worked and finally had enough money to buy myself a second horse but she only went and got injured in that earthquake the other day of all the rotten luck and I had phantom on my side and everything I don't mean you by the way so don't get the wrong idea <coughs> you do mean me <coughs> uh, it's actually quite funny just seeing this like oh no 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 I mean phantom but not you but really they do mean me <laughs> but, you know it's, it's unique to a game something like this you don't actually really see this do you but anyway isn't it about time you did something useful with yourself rather than just hanging about the place causing trouble? You'd do well to take a leaf out of Erin's book. She's put in a lot of hard work at the inn, that girl. Ah, huh, what's Erin got to do with it? I'm trying to find something I want to do anyway. And when I figure out what it, that is, I'll work my socks off, probably. Hey, what are you doing here? Huh, I didn't want anyone to see that. You'd better not tell Erin, okay? I mean, please don't tell Erin. So you can say, so he's puckered up by her. You're that minstrel who fell from the top of the waterfall, aren't you? The one who Erin took in? 
If your injuries are healed, then I suggest you find yourself some work rather than just hanging about the place. Yes, Mayor. I was looking after your sorry asses about 20 minutes ago. Do you know what the stylus is? Yes, I do. Yep, yep, yep. But you can't use a stylus on an emulator version of a game. My brother told me you're a minstrel. Can you show me some tricks then? I'd like to see a prep for a sobering slap or something. And give you a good old air punch. Whee! <laughs> uh, they think I'm some sort of minstrel. No, this is Celestriad gear. Without the wings and the godly powers. Of course, you know, Square Enix don't want you to be the god. They'll happily let the main villain be a god, but to be fair, actually, I'm not going to say anything about the villain. I'm not giving away anything yet. Bloody hell, but yeah. There is a common theme that's going to come throughout this game, though, but you know. Hello again, Phantom. I've just this minute finished preparing the food. You look like you've had quite a long walk. I expect you probably just want to eat your dinner and turn in for the night, don't you? Then let's eat. Can you help me lay the table? You can have a rest as soon as we've finished eating, don't worry. So obviously, it's like I've only had one battle so far because obviously I have to build up the story first, which is fair enough. Morning, Phantom. Come on, get up. You have a visitor. Ivor's here. He's got something to or other he wants to talk to you about. He knows you're here, so I can't very well turn him away. Just give him a few minutes of your time, okay? Hey Phantom, don't look so surprised, there's something I want to talk to you about, that's all. We can't talk about it here though, come outside a minute. So here's the thing, you've heard about how the pass has been blocked by a landslide, right? Well that pass is a lifeline for us here in Angel Falls. We're totally cut off, we can't use it. It's a real problem for, every, um, a real problem for everyone, I mean. <laughs> So I was thinking, what better time for Ivor to come to the rescue? I'm going to clear the landslide and make it possible again. I'll get my dad off my back for a while and I know Erin will be pleased as well. There's just one hitch with my perfect plan. Since the earthquake, there have been lots of monsters about and it's pretty dangerous to leave the village now. That's where you come in. I was thinking that maybe you could tag along. You minstrel types are generally pretty handy in a scrap, right? Can I count on you to help me out? Knew it. Right then, you lead the way, Phantom. It's easy enough to find. You just head out of the village and follow the road east. Oh yeah. And let's keep this to ourselves, okay? We don't want anyone sticking their beaks in. So now we've got Ivor on our team, and you'll actually be seeing something when I head east of what is exactly blocking it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But you have to wait till Wednesday for that, because I'm going to end this once I leave the town. So yeah, let's, you know, quickly, you know... Oh, I can't really check. I don't think I can check him yet. I think you can only really check a character once they properly become... A member of the party but I think I think Ivor does become a permanent one I don't remember exactly what characters I know Erin does but you know let's get it here comes another lamb to the slaughter you can't go out there you know there are monsters about stop trying to scare people we're leaving the village and there's nothing you can do about it wait a minute what are you doing with him Ivor since when were you best mates you're a pain sometimes. We're just going to clear the landslide, that's all. Oh, right, but there really are monsters about, you know. Nothing I can't handle. Just let us by, will you? Hold us up any longer and there'll be trouble. Go on, then. I'm not stopping you. But if you get tired or hurt, you'll come straight back to the village if you know what's good for you. A quick rest at Erin's house should be enough to get your strength back up again. There's no need to be a hero. Oh, there is. I need a hero to save me now. So here we go. The map's only small for now. But as you can see, that little continent, there's still so much more. But anyway, that marks the end of the prologue of my playthrough of Final... Uh, I'm going to keep on doing that. Dragon Quest Nine: Sentinels of the Starry Skies. And in the next episode, I will be going to find what is blocking off the Angel Falls residents from
continuing east. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, all of us see you now is goodbye and good night.